Hello guys, this is uh, Ed back at the shop. And I've got a 440 cast crank. It's a uh, casting number 4027176. Uh, you can see here the oil holes don't have a lot of uh, chamfer on them. They got some on this side, not much on this side. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean those up. We're gonna put some chamfer on them, repolish the uh, crank and we'll be back. We're, do this before we do the balancing also guys if you're balancing your cranks make sure that the holes the lightning holes are cleaned out um, years ago maybe uh, 40 45 years ago I read an article about FE Fords and it happened to be I think of what they were talking about um, that they can have uh, four or five or six grams of buildup inside those holes. I would say this crank, and it'd been cleaned and everything, and I'm not busting anybody out. This probably, I didn't weigh it, I just cleaned it out. It probably had two grams of swarth up inside them holes. And the ones that are really bad are the ones that are blind, because it just builds up in there. And of course, most of you guys know, if you've ever seen the... Um, the old blocks and it had that gray heavy stuff in the oil pan or the valley well that's basically lead from the lead and the gasoline uh, so anyways um, yeah if it builds up so if you're gonna have your cranks balance make sure those lightning holes are cleaned out and uh, that way you get a good accurate balance thanks for watching I'll get this chamfered and I'll be back Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you uh, this uh, guy started uh, building the engine um, it had set around but this is a result of uh, handprint, fingerprints the rust on there and you can just feel it. It's really rough. Uh, guys, if you're going to have your motor set around, be careful about touching your machine surfaces. You can expect that. Uh, but I wanted to show you here this is really sharp. We're going to go ahead and, you, yeah, you can look at these rods. Let's chamfer that and I'll be back. Another thing, watch these holes here that are misdrilled. Be careful that you don't come over too far. You can see that that hole's not in the center of the journal. So this is another important thing for chamfering this because you can see that this is on the edge of that groove. So that's actually going to starve um, your uh, number five rod. So um, actually could starve number five and number four. So we're gonna, we might have to doctor that up a little bit. We'll just see how it comes out. Okay, now you can see what I did here. I brought this chamfer back over towards the middle. So now that's going to pick oil up off that groove. But I was very careful to go over here. I'm not trying to... I just got enough corner break on there where it's not going to cut into the bearing. But now that will open up there. You can see these uh, rods. It's got a significant better chamfer.